Hey guys, this is Atul and uh, I'm here to invite you for a free class that I'm doing in order to on about how to master Azure Cloud and how to build this in-demand skill and land a high paying job. So I'll quickly do a walkthrough in terms of what I'm planning. So and a little bit background about why I'm doing this. Like in last three, four years have changed that the cloud jobs have changed. And in specific, what companies are looking for these days are not just one profile, but someone who can do different tasks, right from an Azure administration to a DevOps to architect, security, multiple roles. And that is being reflected in the job opportunities as well. So I'm planning to do this free class that I said earlier, and let me show you what exactly I'm planning and covering in this particular class. So I'm going to give you a complete 12 week roadmap so that you can take it and learn it in a step by step manner thinking from what all things you should be doing. Um, and I'll explain that in a minute what all we, we're going to cover that, but also going to give you the 30 plus hands on lab that you must be performing right from basics to uh, the the basic core services like storage, identity, nexus management, compute, networking, databases and few other things, high availability, security, etc. So and also the project work that you should be doing. We'll talk about the project work as well that you should help or you should do so that you get a higher paid job. So we'll begin our session with Azure Basic. I'm going to bring a Microsoft expert as well to talk about this. So we'll begin with Azure Basics about covering about Azure landscapes. Uh, we'll also talk about region and availability zone, similar to similar concept as you do look have in probably in AWS if you're coming from AWS background. We'll briefly touch base with what is resources, what are resource groups, and what are the different tools that are available in order to manage your cloud. So things like console, uh, the uh, CLI, the portal, etc. as well. We'll also briefly touch base about uh, the different type of Azure services and the console walkthrough. And then what all things from a, if you're a beginner, these are the hands on lab you should be beginning with. Then we'll talk about compute and storage. We'll keep it high level, the different type of compute which are available, things like virtual machine, app services, containers, Kubernetes, and virtual desktop. We'll also touch base with the storage, different storage account, and how does this VM that uses or how VM uses the storage that available or how the containers or Kubernetes deployment on Azure and Azure app services and databases. Now then what are hands on you should be performing in order to get a higher paid job related to the storage and the compute machines and app services. Then we'll go to the networking in terms of uh, what are the networking components that make a network in terms of also connected to with on-premise like VPN Express and Express Route and what all these things mean actually. Also the peering, the VPN, virtual private network and Express Route in what scenario you'll be using what. And yeah, so also we'll look touch base briefly about what is Azure Firewall. So that's another thing that you should be doing if you're learning for the uh, or doing for the job. Another important topic is Azure Active Directory, which is similar to, you will see a lot of job opportunities related to Azure Active Directory, which is similar to, or not exactly same, but the Active Directory implementation a little bit, diff, slightly different, not all the same features, but implementation of Active Directory on Microsoft Azure, mainly for users' identities, and how do you sync those users uh, about that. The other thing you should be knowing from a job point of view is identity and security or main specific network identity and security. So what are the private endpoints? What are the service principle, manage identity and the other services within that. Now another common important thing you should be doing for jobs is Azure DevOps, including Terraform. So what the DevOps lifecycle, including the tools that are available on Microsoft Azure and CICD pipeline, the Terraform workflow, and then a, a lab or project work you should be doing to do or validate the CI/CD complete CI/CD part. So that's um, and the associated hands-on lab. Then you should be learning backup and migration. So what are the migration tools available, especially in terms of if you're migrating the data from on-premise to cloud as well. Um, so these are the things, main things we are going to cover as well, including high availability and disaster recovery. I'll also give you this whole path on this and there's also I think free gift for 10 most commonly asked interview questions for those who attend this class as well. Uh, so if you're interested, uh, let me know. Uh, there'll be uh, put in a comment section uh, that and if I see enough demand, then probably I'm, I'll be I'm planning to do this session and I might add some more content 
also add let me know what specific questions or topics that you want me to cover uh, maybe a career related questions as well so we'll talk about extensive project work you should be doing all the projects work will help you in getting a job as well so um, with that let me know in the comment section and if you're interested if you want if you think it'll this session will be useful for others do share with that as well i'll be once i finish this all the slides then i'll let you know and we'll inform in in the chat window once this session is available with that this is atul from team ketun academy thanks for listening this and i'll see you in that free class